Hello everybody, this is Pete, Crossroads Baptist Church, college pastor. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, today, today's scripture comes from um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 8. Pray with me, please. Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for the many blessings. Father God, I, I pray that uh, in, in these times of trial and strife in this world, Lord, that we we not be uh, uh, weary, uh, worried, that, that Father God, that we keep our eyes focused on you, that, that all our hope is in you. I pray, Father, that that you would heal this land. Uh, God, I pray that um, these perilous times would would would. Father God, I pray that that they, they, they would just pass away, just just pass. God, I, I pray for this great nation. Thanking you for this great nation, Lord. Thank you for this time of study. I pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter two. For you yourselves knows, brethren, that our coming to you was not in vain. But after we had already suffered and been mistreated in Philippi, as you know, we had the boldness in, in, in our God to speak to you the gospel of God amid much opposition. For our exhortation does not come from error or impurity or by way of deceit, but just as we've been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not pleasing men, but God who examines our hearts. For we never came with flattering speech, as you know, nor with pretext for greed, God is witness. Nor, do we, nor did we seek glory from men, either from, from you or others, even though as apostles of Christ we might have asserted our authority. But we proved to be gentle among you as, an, as a nursing mother tenderly cares for our own children. Having so found an affection for you, we were well pleased to be to, to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you had become very dear to us. Alright. Alright. This 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 right here is 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 called a, a, a manual for a minister. <laughs> Paul's message is always, always the gospel, the, the, the good news. All Paul wanted to do was tell people about Jesus. He wasn't concerned about what people thought or said. He, 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 wasn't, he wasn't in it for the money or to get praise from a man. For him, it was about love, gentleness. It was his life. Verse 1, verse 1. For you yourself know, for you yourself know, brethren, that our coming to you was not in vain. <laughs> there were people back then, just as there are people now, uh, that were trying to discredit Paul uh, and, and discredit what he was teaching, Jesus Christ. If you think it was bad now, it it, it was real bad back then. Uh, to, to just be a Christian. Verse 2 says, But after we had already suffered and been mistreated in Philippi, as you know, we had we had the boldness in our, in our God to, to speak to you the, the, the gospel of God amid much opposition. Look, he, he got in Philippi. If you, you can study about it in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 16, uh, 19 through 40 or something like that. But it, it's, it's the great verse, Acts 16, 31, when the Philippian jailer says, what must I do to be saved? And Paul says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and not only you, but your entire household will, will be saved. This is where they, 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 they seized him and beat him and, and, and threw him in jail, threw him all in jail. And, uh, the, and, and while he was in jail, they were ministering and, and, and singing songs and earthquake happened, gates opened, and anyway, and they didn't escate. You know, and that's when the Philippian jailer wanted to know how he could get saved. 
because he knew he, he would get killed if 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 they escaped. <clears throat> Verse three, but you can read about it in Acts, uh, chapter sixteen. Verse three says, "For as the exhortation does not come from error or impurity, or by way of deceit." Paul wasn't trying to deceive anybody. Paul preached to an audience of one. And and, and look, this is what I found out about this word deceit uh, in, in the Greek and, and it used in this verse. It was literally a word uh, that come from uh, um, the Greek word for a fishing lure. Um, and don't ask me how to say the word. But 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 I mean I don't know it, it's like like top water jig or Carolina rig or spinner bait or or, or just absolute hook, um, and it was used to catch people or, or con people, uh, and it was it was used for uh, to con them out out of out of their money. It was for profit. Uh, Paul let them know this 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 wasn't what he was about. Okay, verse four verse four. But just as but just as we have been uh, approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God who examines our hearts. You know, Pastor Brandon uh, um, s said it best. Um, you, know, you, you know, when we sing songs, when, when, when we when we preach. It's to an audience of one. It's, it's, it's to the Lord himself. Um, here's the thing. The, the church is the body of Christ. Can you see how all this is woven together? I ask you to, 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 to study your Bible, to, to study the word, uh, not, not, not only with, with, with a heartfelt feeling, but I, I, I appeal to your intellect I challenge you to try to, to uh, uh, discredit the Bible. I challenge anybody um, to, to, you can't do it. To a believer, it, it makes sense. Uh, it's the only thing in this world that does make sense. To a non-believer, uh, e even the simplest of it, that it makes no sense. Uh, a a non-believer doesn't understand it, the, the simplest of scripture. Uh, and basically refuses to believe uh, scripture. Uh, I challenge you to study this. Um, I, heard, I, heard, I heard old Agent Rogers, I don't know if y'all remember him, old preacher, a, a great preacher. Uh, uh, he, 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 he said a man told him that, that there was no way that he could prove any word of the Bible. And, and, and he said, Proverbs 30, 33. And the man said, what? He said, he said, the turning of milk makes butter, and the wringing of the nose produces blood. And he grabbed it by the nose. I ain't sure if he didn't. Anyway, you see, what, you, the Bible can be proved. Trust me. Verse 5. Or find out for yourself. Don't trust me. Verse 5. For we, for we never came with flattering speech, as you know, nor with pretext. Greed, uh, uh, for greed, God is witness. Look, Paul wasn't in it for the money. Uh, we see TV preachers and, and these, these mega preachers, uh, uh, these mega churches, and and I'm not saying nothing bad about them. I don't, 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 don't read nothing into that. Um, uh, a lot of them get corrupted by money. Um, some it's just it's just a job, and it's just about the money. It's their way. It's their way to, to uh, get rich. Uh, the message of Christ, it's not for sale. Um, it, it, it's, but here's the question. Of it. I, mean, I mean, it's free, but how valuable is it to you? Uh, that's, that's the question. Uh, will you tithe? Uh, will you invest your time, your talent, and your treasure in a church or a pastor or a ministry? Will you give your life to Christ? Verse 6. Nor did we speak glory from men, either either from you or from others, even though as apostles of Christ we might have asserted our authority. Look, Paul Paul helped set up these these first churches, and and and, and 
as Crossroads, we support missionaries. And I mean, I mean, if I'm not like support a bunch of them. Um, and, and, and Paul could have got, he, he could have asked for support from these churches. Um, there is a business side uh, to, to a church. Um, it has to be done. I mean, it has to be done. Um, here, here's, here's where the body of Christ comes in. The people that go to this church, you, you, you should use your talent. Uh, um, your, your time, your tithe, uh, and and don't lose sight that this is all for the glory of God. Okay, verses seven and eight. But but we prove to be gentle among you, as a nursing mother tenderly cares for her own children, having having so found an affection for you. We we. We're well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you had become very dear to us. Look, the people you go to church for, church with, I mean, I mean, I mean, you care for them. Uh, you care about them. You care about those in your ministry for sure, uh, and you care about those that 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 that. that that, that you serve with. Uh, Paul was letting them to know he loved them. Paul let them know he was thankful for them. When people receive the word of God, it begins a, a powerful work in your life. Um, all, that, all that seed on good dirt stuff. But if you receive this message from a man, it neutralizes this message. Uh, 1 Peter 1.23 1 Peter 1, 23 reads, For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable. That is through the living and enduring word of God. You believe you're born again through the living word of God. This word this word is a two-edged sword. It cuts both. It cuts both ways. Do you study your Bible? How important is being born again to you? How important is that to you? Uh, uh, we should live like that. If you don't know what it means to be born again, if you if 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 you're listening to this, to these little messages that we do. And, and and you've got questions, uh, please get in touch with us at the church. Please get, get in touch with somebody. Um, I mean, the, it's, it's too important news. It's, it's, it's too important not to. Um, we, Paul, Paul was more concerned about people's salvation. The whole, the whole scripture... Is, 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 is the whole reason Christ died was was for you, for, for that 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 you uh, would 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 come to know Him and be with Him forever. Y'all pray with me, please. Father God, thank you for this time. Thank you for these words. Oh God, thank you that that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And I thank you, Father God, that. I thank you, Father God, for my, for my church family. God, I thank you for a family that, Father God, that raised me to know you. I, I, I thank you, Father God, that, that the support that my, my blood family gives me. Lord, I, I, I pray for my family as I pray for my church family. God, there's, there's we live in perilous times, and you know. And God, I, I, I pray. I pray that Maranatha, Lord God. These things I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Hope to see y'all soon. Adios.